Let's start with you, Lindsay, and first take us through the basis for the school's application. So, Shahan, uh, as you've mentioned there, the school saying that they cannot guarantee the safety uh, of their staff and their pupils, and more importantly, to protect the matriculants from um, conducting their exams without any interference. And so they've approached the court uh, to stop the protest in the immediate vicinity of the school. They've outlined a triangle um, of streets around the, uh, the perimeter of the school. Um, but the court saying this afternoon that um, the, the school really doesn't have the right uh, to to dictate where people protest. Uh, the advocate for the school saying that it didn't want to stop the protest, it w wasn't in any way trying to prohibit the EFF from protesting, uh, but that it suggested that rather that protest be held elsewhere, for example, at the Civic Center in the area. So that's really at the basis of the application that they've um, brought to court saying, given the violence that erupted on Monday, they didn't have uh, the kind of security necessary and that the police only uh, was standing by and did nothing to stop uh, the violence and that they wanted to prohibit that from happening again. Yeah, so what about the, uh, uh, how did the court actually respond to their arguments? What was the decision today? So they were hoping for an urgent interdict to stop the protesting from happening immediately. Um, but unfortunately, uh, the court finding that, uh, that the application was rather broad. And as I say, they don't immediately have the right uh, to um, uh, demand where people uh, protest. Uh, and so the court also saying that it was people's fundamental right to protest, is particularly if it was uh, also a matter uh, based on racism. And so to allow the EFF more time to oppose the application. Uh, the court has allowed uh, them time to file those papers by Friday, and so the matter will only return to court on Monday. Yes, and let's go to Ronald now. You're still outside the school. Of course, it's uh, more calm today, but residents and parents there saying that they will be ready. What does that mean? Well, parents earlier on told us, Shahan, that they are prepared to use force if necessary. If that means they will need to protect their children, they say it's very important that their children continue writing exams without any disruptions. That was a stern warning that uh, many of them sent earlier this morning when we gathered here just before 7 o'clock. They were waiting in anticipation for EFF supporters to arrive. But the EFF were a no-show today. But we do understand that one of the members, a 22-year-old woman, has since uh, gone to the police to lay charges after she was allegedly assaulted in yesterday's scuffle. We also heard from Alan Winnie, the Premier of the province, who says that the EFF shouldn't have been here. He went on to even say that this protest was an illegal one. Let's take a listen to what Alan Winnie had to say earlier. As citizens of this province, if we have an issue, we need to sit down and talk about it. We need to deal with it as adults. Uh, and specifically because our matrics in a very difficult year are trying to get their final exams done. Uh, we need to move away from the entrance of a school. Uh, we need to get around the table to sort these things out. We must make sure that we give the youth uh, of our province their opportunity in a difficult year to finish their exams. Please don't resort to violence. Uh, I really call on citizens to be calm and to deal with these issues in a responsible manner. And Ronald, of course, we shouldn't sidetrack from the main issue at hand here, and that's allegations of racism. The Western Cape Education Department saying that they are investigating these allegations, but of course, we are now hearing that there's more claims being made in this regard. Indeed. Well, Debbie Schaefer said to us earlier on when she met the principal of the school that investigations will be underway. But we've also been told uh, by former learners of the school that earlier this year, around July, that they handed a memorandum uh, labeling or saying a number of uh, key issues on that memorandum uh, with issues of race and they feel that those issues have not been uh, challenged or, or addressed by the principal himself. We also heard of course uh, yesterday a few parents who hid their identity uh, saying that uh, you know their children are fear to being victimized that they've raised a number of issues uh, pertaining to race. But Debbie Schaefer similar to what Alan Windy had to say she condemned the actions of the EFF. Let's take a listen to what she had to say. 
I'm very concerned about the EFF uh, in general, how they handle issues. They are a populist organization that likes to foment division in, in our uh, already divided society. And I think that's really the last thing we, we need. Our matrix are writing exams, um, but they chose to go right, you know, to go and protest at a school knowing it's where it's going to uh, cause more tensions. And I, I don't know who started the violence, but it really is unacceptable to, to be, try and resolve issues like that and to behave like that. Um, I also don't think that we should be really the, 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 you can't just assume that it is, is, is a racist incident in a situation like this, when it was clear that they, I mean, that they should get their facts together also first. And mm -hmm. if there are genuine incidents of racism, we are absolutely committed to addressing those issues and dealing with those issues. But I think this is the wrong issue, and it's certainly the wrong way to behave. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Ronald Masinda and Lindsay Dentlinger are both in Cape Town.